And it's Ken Kratzer for Canvas Media. West Point football practice. Have a chance to talk to the head coach of the Black Knights, and that is Jeff Munkin. And uh, coach, uh, best news was uh, Andre Miller, who got hurt up at Syracuse, is okay. He is, and we're glad to have him back here. He was actually able to come back later that night, and and uh, so still still got some things to work through, but but doing much better, and and uh, we're we're very very grateful for that. And after oh, that's great news, uh, super. Uh, tell us after looking at the film, uh, uh, what were your thoughts? Uh, obviously, the, the first half went well, and the second half was kind of a struggle. I thought our guys played really hard, and and. They were trying to perform, and uh, and I thought really did a nice job in the first half. We controlled the clock. We were able to get a couple of scores off of long drives. Um, did a good job defending them. Uh, certainly had some opportunities to make some plays, but but you know being up 10-3 to a team that we have just tremendous respect for, and I think is very talented. Uh, I thought we played a good first half, and unfortunately, we just didn't play well enough in the second half to win. Um, we couldn't get anything going offensively. We had four three and outs in a row. And when you keep giving Syracuse chances, they're going to take advantage of it at some point. And our, our defense kept fighting and scratching. And you know, at one point it was 19 to 10, and and uh, that was after giving them the ball over and over and over again. And, and we were just playing really hard, and just not able to uh, to make the plays that we needed to. And and it was unfortunate. It would have been a big win for us. Uh, certainly disappointed, but uh, it was, it's not the end of the season. And that's the good news. We get to play again. So we're getting ready for the next one. We get a bye week to recoup a couple of practices this week. What are you focusing on during the bye week? Just to get prepared for Boston College. It's another football team that's going to be very talented coming out of the Power Five, and uh, and they've got a talented, well-coached football team. And, and I mean, this is a team that I watched just two weeks ago take Florida State, who's the number two or three team in the country, to the wire. So they've, they've got a very good football team, and it's going to take our very best effort to win. So we're focusing everything we've got on getting prepared for them, and hopefully we'll play better than we did in the last one. Any key things on offense that you're working on? Uh, uh, Bryson Daly's been maturing as we go, go through the year after four starts. So what are some of the keys on offense, would you say? Oh, certainly we've got to do a better job of completing passes, uh, and that's not all on Bryson. That's that's our whole offense. That's protecting him. Uh, that's running routes where we can get open and get ourselves a position, get ourselves in position to catch the passes, uh, and then delivering the throws. Um, we got to do that. That's part of. It's just part of playing offense in our system at this point. You know, we've been a team that's just hammered it and hammered it and hammered it and th- thrown it very little and. And for us to be able to run the ball, we've got to utilize the pass some to, to be able to open up the run game. So uh, in the same regard, we got to be able to get those tough yards running the football. And, uh, and that's what we did in the first half in the last game and what we failed to do in the second half of the last game. So really just trying to focus on, on our system, the things in the offense that are most important, most critical for us to be able to execute and getting really good at those and the fundamentals that go along with those plays. How do you feel your offensive line is doing? You've got a couple of young players, a couple of new players in the lineup. I think they're doing a really good job. I'm, I've, been, I've been so pleased with the improvement of Brady Small at center. Uh, Lucas Scott, who, who has earned his way onto the, the starting lineup. Um, both of those guys were guys with very little experience that, uh, and Brady with no experience. And they're both really doing a good job for us. So, and, and, and the whole group. Uh, the veteran players we've got, Fanukin, Buckingham, um, Filipowicz, uh, Booby Law, David Hoyt's another guy. There's a guy that hasn't had any experience, and he's got himself in a starting position. So, I mean, that's that's a good group, and they're playing hard and playing tough. And and uh, as I said, you know, a lot of a lot of what anybody does on offense falls in the offensive line. If you don't have an offensive line that's protecting the passer, hard to throw a pass. If you don't have an offensive line that's prying some gaps open for the running backs, hard to run the ball. So. Uh, those guys got a big job, an important job, and and uh, and they've been doing a good job. But they've got to improve and get better. They know it, and uh, we got two good offensive line coaches that are pushing them and helping them. Casey Larkin had a big day and a first start at safety. How did you think he did? And and uh, what are some of the keys on defense? That's a big, that's, that's a big game to make your first start to play against an ACC opponent uh, and an undefeated opponent at that. And, and he really made some good plays. Uh, as he plays more, he'll settle down. And uh, sometimes he just, he's trying to play so hard and make plays that, that uh, they, they get away from him every once in a while. And he missed a couple of tackles and uh, maybe was out of position a couple of times, but 
You know, he's a young player and he's going to learn. And it's hard to be perfect, even if you're a veteran player, a player and have played a lot of a lot of snaps. And uh, and so he he's a player that we're really excited about. He's explosive. He's fast. He's athletic. Uh, and he's he's going to improve. And uh, I'm excited about the future with him. Last time Boston College came in, Army pulled off a nice win. Uh, remember Trent Steelman having a late touchdown in that game. Uh, what, I, I, I know the, the the players will really respond to a big crowd in the core uh, for uh, when Boston College comes in next week. I wasn't here for that last game. Uh, that's quite a few years ago. So uh, two completely different teams and, and different coaching staffs and it's just going to be a great challenge for us. We're excited to be at home. We, we really like playing at home in front of the core cadets and, and our home crowd. But the bottom line is we got to perform here. we got to play and, uh, and earn the victory. So we're, we're going to try to do that out here on the practice field. Army coach Chef Munkin, great to see you and have a great week uh, during this bye week. This is Ken Kratzer for Cam Vets Media.